a very special edition of the Nordic Mythology Podcast. And I guess I'm joined by Dr. Matthias Nordvik. Hello, everybody. Hi. We have with us uh, Maria and Kai and Chris from Heilong. Hi. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Thank you so Once much. Again. Uh, Thank you for your hospitality, I guess I have to say first. You invited us into your camp, fed us, gave us cake, yeah. coffee, and now we're recording your your mum's tent. He's my mum's <laughs> tent. <laughs> so, I, yeah. I'll, I'll have to say Heilong cake was the, you know, that was the pinnacle of my day today. <laughs> we ate uh, cake today because one of our singers turned uh, 30, uh, yes. so we're celebrating her. And uh, sadly, you didn't hear the Heilong version of the congratulations song, which is oh. we have 10 different nationalities and you count to three and everyone sings their own song at the same time. Wow. <laughs> it is, I love epic, it. Epic, epic. It's so chaotic. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that does sound wonderful oh yeah thank you like this is maybe my favorite interview we're ever gonna do sign this cozy little tent um but yeah let's talk about the which should we do first the new album or mid gas blood being back here well it's a combination of both isn't it yeah. we're releasing a new album tomorrow at mid gas blood so yeah chris you come directly out of your cave with, uh, and, and directly down from stage. I was just guesting uh, Amelie there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, this place, you know, it, as you know, is, is something that really means something to us, right? This, this is uh, this is the place where we actually met, mm. was somehow, uh, through doing uh, Viking reenactment and stuff like this. And uh, Maria is from here. So, so in, in many ways, it makes a lot of sense that we take the next step from here, you know, because it's kind of like home. Mm. And, and, and obviously, these, these uh, hills in the forest there, back of, behind us there, they, they, they mean a lot to all of us. And, 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 and it has a, a good energy, right? And, and it is, you know, you know, when, when you make a new album, you, you, you kind of say goodbye to what you did before, and then you say hello to what is to come, right? Right. Uh, and, and in many ways for us, uh, this is now going to be a, a turning point for us and, and moving forward, right? Okay. And, and yeah. Yeah, so, so it, it makes sense to do it here. And, mm -hmm. and tomorrow we're going to have like a listening session in, 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 the, in the King's Hall. Uh, mm. which is one of my favorite uh, buildings to be inside. Uh, mm. I really love the acoustics in there and, yeah. you know, um, mm. yeah. Mm. So I guess, I guess when Migas Bode, unofficial kind of motto is welcome home. Yeah. I guess it means more to you guys than, than probably anybody here. Yeah, yeah. It really is coming back to the place where it all started. Yeah, absolutely, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah very li literally. And then, yeah, it's uh, it's exciting to come home, and then uh, you know, and then we were leaving very far out into the world on Monday, flying to Atlanta. But uh, yeah, but first of all, we're releasing uh, the album tomorrow, and uh, I'm very excited because um, it's 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 such a varied piece of work that we're delivering now to into birthing into the world, and the first three songs uh, people have been very enthusiastic and uh, yeah can't wait to show the rest oh we can't wait to hear the rest yeah. thing like that. um chris i know you're the from speaking with you in the past i know you kind of the the music nerd like the real you get really into and i know you're trying to do some special things with the the new album from from yeah. what i've seen well, well you know you know the, the 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 method of what we how we're working is the same, right? It, 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 and it will always be the same. It's the three of us locked into a room, a Kai coming with some weird source material that <laughs> that I don't have to figure out how to to, to make sounds, yeah. to, you know. And and like 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 one of my favorite for this one was uh, Tenet. That that you know it's just started by Kai just putting it there on the on the table first without saying anything. You know, I was just looking. What? What, what is this? Uh, what? The you know, the Salter Square. <laughs> yeah, the oh, Salter that, Square. That's what I wanted to ask you. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. And I was like, and, and then we started like developing these weird coded systems to to actually extrapolate notes out from, because we knew instantly that okay, you are making a palindrome thing, right? So you need to be able to play this forward and backward, right? So, but it also has to make sense. It also has to be music in any direction, literally, right? Mm. So, so, so that is like, like, so we made like a, a number system uh, based on on different runic patterns and also, but everything like deriving from this Sato square and 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 that melody 
was then based on some known scales from from the period, you know, based on instruments, you know, so we know like the notation, and 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 that became the the, the first part. And then when we first made the first code, then okay, what do, what happens then if we flip everything, you know, because like the Satsu square is is is. is of course, not only going forward and backwards, it's also vertically, right? So how do we do that musically, right? How do we write music that, that is not only playing the same forward and backward, but also has a sort of depth upwards and, and, and downwards, right? At the same time. Because we're like like making music in stereo, right? We yeah. don't we don't have like a, a, a at least not yet a sound surround version of it, uh, but it was recorded in surround uh, some of it. But anyway, how do we create this music, you know, musically, right? How do we make beats that works the same way forward and backwards? Most drummers would tell you that, like, if you take a normal kick and a snare and you, you play that next to each other, if you play it the other way, the beat is not necessarily that cool, yeah. you know? Uh, you know, and, and you know, it is also music, right? It, it shouldn't be like, oh, that's fun that it plays backwards, right? It also, like, but what is this? You know, it actually has to sound like something, right? Has to be good. Uh, and 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 that was really that was really interesting. Also, the one we used the most time. You know, sometimes when we really go into these deep mix sessions, you know, we, the same thing just goes on repeat. And I think like this, the the the, the Sato at Apple part, you know, <laughs> multiple times made this poor bastard regret that he gave that to me. You know. <laughs> he just, like, just, sit, yeah, just sitting for like a week, you it's, know, with it's just sat to it. You, it's you creating your own back on him for. It's like you know, <laughs> it's like when brainwashing, you talk, right? Yeah, yeah. When, when you talk to to people who are into like military interrogations, of course they also use sound, yeah. right? And they use like very short sentences that are on repeat, very very loud, right? And, okay. you know, like, so that's what you were doing mixing, to each other. When he is mixing, it has to be loud because he has to hear everything, yeah, right? Yeah, he yeah. can't hear that in like you know talk uh, talk sound, and then it's like satorari potenet opera rota satorari potenet opera rota satorari and you're like, this is hour three? Oh my god, what am I drawing here, man? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like I just, you, just, you know, like, 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 that. we, everyone, when we're sitting working, whether we're doing like uh, artwork or something, you know, it, it's really like everyone is just sitting focused in the studio and doing their thing, you know, but once in a while, like, like after a session, like, turn it, you know, I can just look behind them and they, those are just sitting, like, at one point, like, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the first, the, the the oldest one I came across came from Herculaneum around like 50 before Christ, something mm -hmm. like that, and it just goes all the way up to Iceland and like Danish churches have it engraved and everything and since the song is out I have fans sending me like old engravings from hey this is the church where I grew up but we have this and, and, and wow, there's like some yeah. old French thing right and like when you read about it it is everything it is it has been used to summon the devil it has been used for healing because it has this tenet cross in there it, it was also used for Christian stuff right but what is fascinating about it is that you actually have these like five words that make sense however you read them like sense ish right and I was not able to create something that was matching this yeah right? so, so the thing is that the guy then had to try right to make his yeah, own I really did <laughs> yeah. I really did I love it I really I, really, I, I love that one Do I you really want to share? think oh. it's amazing <laughs> it is it's so funny man. I see it a bit more humbly but yes and I don't remember the full thing uh, I'm, how I'm, is I it again see it written what is it again uh, it's hanging in the studio. It's we'll send you a picture of it. Oh, please do. Yeah. <laughs> we need to see it. That. Yeah, we that's need. a modern iteration. I like that. Yeah. yeah. But it was it was a fun process. Like the whole like the whole making making the whole album. You know, it, it the intensity of the music can, can of course also be found in all levels in in ourselves. Right. You know, so we go from like hysteric laughter to like really sad moments as well. Like for example, when it came to Nesso. Mm very sad moment for Maria mm. and like when you listen to that song uh, for example Nesso is old high German for warm and like shortly said is that people back then believed that pains were worms that were crawling crawling in the body and that there's also possibilities to extract it right and uh, we asked Maria to go in a state of mind where she pictured like meditative an animal that she loved a lot 
lot being dying and that she really tried to Can like you guess who? oh i would be yeah no yeah exactly not exactly mm -hmm. and like she no. was like she had the tears running down her cheeks while she was singing it and like that that is actually also on the album so when you listen to nestle on the album and you think fuck man is she like about to cry no she was actually crying doing this you know so you really give a a lot for the craft you're willing because yeah. i I'll cry if I think about Luna in that way. Like she, she's beautiful. She, she came and sat on my knee earlier, and we had a cuddle. And she doesn't. You, you know, you, we, when we were recording it, you know, like 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 Maria standing in there and crying, right? And when Maria is crying, I instantly start crying. So it's like like I was really crying, you know. And it's, you know, it was really a moment. And then I looked behind at Kai, you know, he was just singing this weird. I'm sitting here and crying, you know. I look at Kai, and he was just completely wet. You know, oh. <laughs> we were almost just like, oh my god, that all, all hit rock bottom there, man. Uh, yeah. Emotional, and, yeah. And it was also a, a, a nerve wracking moment to to take the decision to actually release it uh, like yeah. that because we talked a lot about should we sing it again and actually make it sound like uh, uh, my real voice, like this is just uh, my my broken boy voice. But then we, after a lot of the talking back and forth, we decided that you know what, a voice doesn't always have to be pretty. You, it's okay to show emotion and it's okay to 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 show the honesty in the voice through uh, through crying. And I think crying and singing is the hardest thing you can do. Yeah. Like it, yeah. You don't have any control, and for a vocalist to to not feel that you have control is is really really hard on the heart and soul. Yeah. And, and I, I know this personally from from many. Many different situations, and uh, and it, it's uh, it was a, a step for me to dare to to go out with it as well. Mm. And, uh, but I can hear the feedback we got from the label. That is the first yeah. people who heard it. They all cried as well. So. Oh, <laughs> I, I know I'm gonna cry. I know I'm gonna. So it feels like you guys can't make a song that's just a song. Like it, everything has. Oh, uh, such I really a, wish one day. We yeah, could, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just like easy listening. <laughs> everything has. With like a choreography that has to happen, and you know you have to do all these uh, rituals extra to make it happen. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll say I appreciate it. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I hope you never make a song. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a song. <laughs> but you, you really put everything into every song yeah and, but we did make really a, feel it we know. did make a cover song on this album though. yes that's yeah. true yes. yeah so our that first is cover song ever. maybe oh, really? just a song no it's not just a song but it's it's our first cover song i'm sure it's got more to it than just least, being yeah. than the first, just being a cover it's the first song from where it's been written down mm. and we kind of just reach the notation and and we add an extra voice to it though but yeah so, high long songs. yeah yeah but but uh, yeah mm. that's the first one yeah one of the Hurrian hymns mm. from uh, Nineveh. Yeah. They digged it out in Nineveh. It's a yeah. uh, mm. cuneiform, and it, uh, it contains the lyrics, but it also contains the the notes and also uh, uh, instructions how to tune the harp or a lyra or however the instrument at the time was called. And uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah. that's our awesome. first yeah. cover song. It's called uh, Nikal. <laughs> yeah, in Babylonian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wild. Like yeah, so but that it kind of that kind of also like, like takes it a bit like 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 we are looking a little bit further than the north, right? Mm -hmm. As you guys also know that that you know it, it's a bit limited also when you have a source material, you know, and 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 therefore we I feel like at least that's my take on it that it's really nice to 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 start to look at what may have influenced us, right? Mm -hmm. And what radiates back and forward uh, of the time. And, and and like 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 with this Nikel song, it, it, it's that we actually get a glimpse into how they actually sang at yeah. the time, right? Because we obviously don't have uh, recordings of, of of that, right? But but because we know the instruments it's written for and how it possibly was tuned, we can get fairly close to to how how it it would have been. But you know, people that know that song will also know that 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 that. The, the notes we are singing is probably the harp voice, right? So, so that's also one of the reasons why I felt really compelled to, to do a high lungs voice um, on on top of it, to, to but and and make it like a a, a three person song, basically it's three three no, uh, harmonies singing, right? And and it's kind of interesting to 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 look at this because you know. We know, for instance, like like to, to, this is a very long story. That could, but uh, I've tried to do it short, right? But um, we know, for instance, that 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 uh, uh, that we were pitching lower in the past, right? 
and and you can kind of draw a, a steady line from modern day pitch which was kind of decided in the 40s um, uh, by the Germans uh, and you can draw a direct line to, to what we believe instruments were at its optimal tuning in the medieval times and even go back further and 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 it all traces back to natural natural harmonics mm -hmm. really like yeah. like like you can take a recording of a waterfall that is basically completely white noise to us right but there's still resonating tones into that that is louder than others right yeah. and easily coming out and you can draw a direct direct line to that so naturally we had to do that with Nico obviously mm, to, 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 to put it at that <laughs> sort of tuning right and what is harmonies then right because if we go too far people today would not understand it that's yeah. one of the reasons why we call it amplified right uh, so, so it's about in, interpreting, but also making it relevant for today. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing, one thing I absolutely love is that I don't understand music on like a deep level, but when I hear you speak, I just can't help but get drawn into the way you talk about like the sounds of everything and the clear passion you have. If that just pulls me in, I'm just locked into all these different things and the way you seem to obviously look at things and pick things apart and it's. It's fascinating, I love it. And it clearly comes across with everything you do. It's a perfect mix of Kai bringing crazy thing, crazy ideas, you making them only into music and Maria, your right beautiful now. voice <laughs> on the front and just making it all sound. Yeah, I love it when it's just the, the perfect mix of all three of you together. It really, it's really special. It's a very beautiful, creative way of working with sources and sound, and you know, I, I really appreciate it. It's, it's, a, it's a way to create new meaning in the world in, in, in a very profound sense, if you ask me. I have, to, okay, we have to ask about Saturday when you play. Can we expect anything special, new? Look, Look it, here, when we play here, yeah. something special? Yeah, is there anything, like, what, what can we expect? Is it just... Uh, we're, <coughs> Yeah. You know, I'm just, I've got to fish for something. <laughs> got to try. <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, we fi finally found uh, volunteers for sacrifice. Oh, so yeah? That, that's okay. how we're going to start. Great. <laughs> and uh, uh, Maria is going to come in on a, on a, on a white horse. Yes. And oh. I'm, I'm going to come on stage on a donkey, but I will sit uh, the other way around. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that's I, that's I, a better I, answer I, than I'm actually finding out. I will be running to the insurance company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I. Yeah. No, it's okay. going to be a surprise. It's yeah, of course. Surprise. I had to ask the. Just in case. I remember last we did one interview before. I think Maria, you were going to say something. And I think it was, I can't remember if it was Chris or Kai who were like, shh. <laughs> and like, you, I can't remember words, but you nearly slipped up on something once. And it must have been Kai. Yeah, yeah, and one of you was just like, I never slipped. No, no. <laughs> one of you was just quickly like, grabbed me and was like, shh. <laughs> if you want a secret to stay a secret, just don't tell it to me. That, that's yeah. just what it is. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Because then it's already too knowing. Unfortunately, I'm going to miss it on Saturday because that's when I'm tr starting my journey back to the U.S. Okay. But I will be seeing you guys in Seattle. Yes. And very much looking forward to that. Nice. Yeah. And you're coming to the U.K. again soon? Yes. So I'm going to get to come and see you, I guess, on I'm this, Saturday will be the first time I've ever seen you guys live. So I can't wait for that. But also to see you in the U.K. as well is going to be special. Yeah. I know it's been postponed a while. Yeah, we haven't been there since in the beginning of. It was actually the the, the, the last yeah. show before the big break. Yeah, in well, York. In York. Yeah. 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 And then that was. That was that I mean, was when the pandemic was just like biting our ass like really hard. Yeah. Not, yeah. Well, I quit smoking. You quit smoking. Yeah. You also yeah. quit smoking. I also quit smoking. Yeah. Kai didn't quit smoking. I, I, did. I did for a little I while. Started again. I, I, that's, that, that's the same for me. I quit smoking for the pandemic, then I started again. No. <laughs> as soon as my feet were on Danish ground, I was like, I need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wonderful. I think yeah. we can wrap it up there. Yeah, because we want to see you Varuna. We want to go see Varuna, yeah. yeah. I mean, thank you very much for doing this in this beautiful setting and thank you mama for borrowing it uh, yeah again. <laughs> and again thank you for like i said the, the hospitality i don't think there's many bands that would invite us into their 
camp and feed us, but give us... Well, well how many bands have a Viking camp? Well, that's, yeah, right. that oh, that, that's one yeah, last thing I want to actually ask you, is yeah. that I guess not everybody knows that you have like a full no, yeah, because, camp set up. Uh, we told Runa that uh, rather than living in the hotel 20 minutes uh, away, we would love to just stay in some Viking tents. Uh, if she can uh, get some, we will have some ourselves. And now we're hosting 47 people, wow. which is uh, Heilung uh, and Heilung crew and our booking agency, yeah. our record label, our merch people and uh, some close uh, family, so yeah. Yeah, well, it's a tribe. Yeah, it is. It is, but it's really also like, like, like yeah. it's not really uncommon for us to do that here. Right? No, no, you know, no. we, we, we've yeah. done that, you know, yeah. Yeah, many times Yeah, just to before. combine it with the music scene is pretty unique. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because normally you just have a, a crappy airport hotel somewhere, right? And yeah. here we yeah. can cook on the fire, we make a communal dinner every day. That's we swim in the sea, we sit in cozy around the fireplace in the evenings. It could be better. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I was going to ask Kelly how important that is, you think, to what you guys do and the music you make and then the live performance you give, effectively, like at the end of it, yeah. that you've lived as a, as a whole little tribe for yeah. But I, I yeah, can actually it tell, I can tell you that, that, that we did measures on it, right? Because we have noticed that, that the, 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 the tribe goes sad if we are on the road and we don't have enough outdoor yeah. uh, experiences, yeah. like like yeah. a nature yeah. experience. If you just keep like like this bunch of uh, people inside a bus, you know, yeah. or a concrete, uh, you know, mm. you know, we're not really gonna live up to the healing idea we yeah. have yeah. On, yeah. on stage, so, right? So, yeah. Because we we are, you know, yeah, you yeah. know, we need, need to be free ranged, uh, you know, shamanistic yeah. workers, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, not yeah. locked in. Uh, free range, yeah, yeah, like, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. ecological. Yeah. Yeah. ecological. Yeah, you know, we don't do a cage, we don't do cage shamans. <laughs> no, no. I think that's gonna be my new company name: free range shamanistic workers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they like like uh, they are organic eating, you know. Of yeah. course, you know yeah. we don't feed them, you know, uh, you know all these extra, you know. No, no. no. SW. Yeah. Yeah. Organic yeah. beer for all of them. Yeah. Organic beer for all the shamanistic <laughs> workers. Yeah. 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 We don't need any canned vikings no <laughs> no canned vikings <laughs> no i yeah like I, said, I think that's it it's when not many bands would live like this i don't think they want the hotel they want the showers they want all the they don't the know what they're missing, eh? no yeah. but like i said you when you do it a disservice when you described it earlier you know you have like the whole hub in the middle with a big fire going and it's i haven't seen like a modern Thing around here, like all the bowls are wooden. It's very much back to back to earth, and I I love it. I completely understand. As somebody who's done Viking reenactment over the years, uh, you know this this feels this feels natural. The hotel I'm st staying at right now does not. It, it's a uh, yeah, it's an entirely it's, different vibe. Yeah. yeah, and it's also we used to live like that for a month. I mean, like when when I was when I was uh, still li living in Germany, I started the tour in May. And I was home in September, and that was Viking yeah. tour. That is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Viking tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 from Viking market to Viking market. Tattooing. Yeah. Tattooing. Yeah. That's that's yeah. just it. it was. I remember it, it was always very difficult to come home to have yeah. walls again, to have shoes again, really, and like all of this. It's, it's really. It's, it's kind of weird, right? I mean, yeah. like in the beginning, you think like, what the fuck am I doing, bathing in that lake again? Ugh. You know. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's it. It feels like. The, like you are, you live Heilung, like it is you. Um, you know, you come to the festival, you live like this, and it's very, it's not like you just go up on stage and become characters in a, yeah. characters in a band, or you go up and, and just yeah. perform. Yeah. You're just up there being yourselves, playing music. It's not a performance, it's very much who you are at the core, yeah. and it's what makes Ampli you all so. Amplify ourselves in yeah. a way. Yeah, so it's a theater for the gods. Yeah, yeah. the ritual. Yeah. That's where we, that's where we end on that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah so thank you guys. Thank you. It was great to talk to you again. Yeah. Skull. Yeah. Skull. <laughs> Skull. <laughs>